Hello, Grade 10. My name is Mr. Ashraf. I'm a drama teacher. In Grade 10, we're going to start this year with a Greek theater. So we're going to go back to the root of theater, actually where they started the drama. Uh, we're going to learn a lot of uh, skills and techniques that the Greek used during that time. So the Greek, they started uh, their uh, celebration or uh, festival, uh, the first place, uh, Indonesia, it's a big, huge city, and there is a mountain, they, they call it uh, Indonesia also, they started to uh, celebrate uh, their uh, spring festival they, in, in the spring, and the main uh, character or the main one who were Dionysius, Dionysius or Dionysia, they call it Dionysia, Dionysius, there is a different names for their uh, gods. So they start in, they started to celebrate Dionysius the Spring Festival. Uh, there are uh, actually more than one ceremony during the show or during the uh, festival. But during the Spring Festival actually they make a big uh, statue for uh, Dionysius. Uh, Dionysius was the son of the king of the Greek, so actually all the celebration about him and uh, all uh, the festival uh, about uh, Dionysius, about his uh, super uh, power and about uh, his uh, character, uh, about uh, his uh, uh, servant, about the place where they put uh, Dionysius actually in the middle of the uh, empty uh, stage or empty uh, place and they start you know, to move around Dionysius and this is one of the uh, ceremony they started all uh, the celebration with. So during the Greek uh, time we are going to mention uh, about uh, the ancient Greek uh, playwrights and we have an ancient Greek plays and ancient Greek uh, theater and ancient Greek mask and chorus. So we're going to focus how actually they use mask okay and how they use a chorus and how many actors they use at the beginning and then how many actors they add. So all these things actually related to the Greek theater and it's very important and essential to know about all the elements of the Greek theater and how they use the actors, they use the masks, they use the music, they use the space because it's very important to find a place for the big huge number of audience they attend the El Festival during that time. So we are going to learn about the shapes of the auditorium during the Greek time and this is one of them. Actually they use the stone to build uh, the auditorium and if you realize there is two areas, one area for the actor, one area for the audience. The audience sit in different uh, places like you know, we have uh, a first area for the king and for uh, uh, his uh, son and daughter for the second area for the other people and there is a place for the actor they can act and there is an empty rooms around the theater they use it you know to change to put the costumes with props or to use other facilities during the show Uh, another uh, important issue during the, uh, the Greek theater, actually the use of masks. The Greek, they use the mask a lot. Uh, uh, there is a different type of uh, masks. And there is a comedy mask and there is a tragedy mask. And sometimes they made the mask from the, the skin of animals or from wood. And they put a lot of details and they use a different colors just you know, to show expression of that mask or to show the uh, uh, actually you know what this mask represent so after mask in the Greek they use a chorus a chorus it actually you know about 
more than uh, 10 actors they wear the same mask and they wear the same costume actually uh, the use of uh, chorus on the stage uh, they support and repeat after the actors and to do a lot of movement during the show to make the acting more interesting and to make entertainment for the audience or sometimes to explain something to the uh, to the audience uh, uh, during the uh, chorus with chorus actually they cover their faces and sometimes they sing sometimes they move sometimes they sit there is different jobs for the chorus so in greek theater actually they use chorus and actors the beginning they use only one actor he stands on the stage and the chorus around him. After that, they add uh, second actor. Uh, after that, they add a third actor. So actually, when they add more than uh, one actor, uh, it's easy for the audience actually to understand the message that they want to send to the audience, which is easy to explain the idea or the play. So they started with one actor, after that two, after that three, they uh, use uh, they add more numbers for the el, el, el chorus to uh, make it more than 20 to 30 person on the stage also we want to know more there about about you know the greek play, uh, the greek play rights so uh, we have uh, Aeschylus, we have sophocles and we have Eurbides. Uh, all of them they are famous during that time or oh, uh, most of them actually they wrote more than three or four hundred plays during that this is an example for the, the plays for Aeschylus he wrote many plays but those actually the most famous plays for Aeschylus and the, the biggest the biggest name or the most interesting one Agamemnon and they uh, Nowadays, they change the whole uh, plot for Agamemnon and they change it from theater to uh, movies and to cinema and they use it a lot of, um, they use the, 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 the Greek mythology a lot, be in games and be uh, the movies nowadays, be in modern drama and modern uh, technology, they use it to make it more uh, realistic for uh, 20th century generations. So uh, another example for uh, Sophocles, we have another four uh, important uh, plays, but the most uh, important one, King Oedipus, we are going to take uh, samples from that play and we are going to make scene from that play. It's famous uh, for uh, the drama people actually who work in the drama and they actually I made many different versions from this play and they change a lot with this play but we are going to take the original one for Sophocles and we are going to act scene from that play uh, finally we are going to learn more about the element of a Greek theater we want uh, to learn about the plays about the plot about the character about a uh, theme they use different themes and all the themes related to religion during that time and uh, we want to see you know how actually the audience they interact and uh, uh, with the shows how what kind of music they use and what kind of instrument they use during that time and uh, about the monologues and the dialogues they use a lot of uh, monologues because actually they started to use only one actor all these things we are going uh, to put them in a different activities in different skills that we are going to learn in this unit to uh, to see how actually you know they how they act before 5,000 years ago and how actually they implement all these elements together and how they use it and we want to see what happened after the Greek who came after the Greek and how they uh, change all the methods and how they change 
all the uh, elements. Uh, I want to mention something very important. Uh, if you look, uh, if you look at the logo for a drama in general, there is two faces: one happy and the other one sad. So, happy one representing a Roman theater and a sad one representing a Greek theater because the Greek theater all the time it's about a, a tragedy Roman it's about comedy so Roman and the Greek actually the ones who started with theater and they started to create this logo according to those two uh, cultures wish you all the best in this unit